Hello, in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to create a sign within ArtCam Express with no modules installed so this is just the basic version of ArtCam Express and here you can see the sign that we're going to be creating this is a three dimensional PDF so I'll show you how to export that out of ArtCam in a little while so what I'm going to do is open up ArtCam Express if you take a look on the right hand side you can see I have no modules installed so this is just the basic version of ArtCam Express everything that you see will be done using that version so first of all I'm going to open a model and I'm going to select this picture here which is just some vines and a little bit of flowers there and what I'm going to do is just open that so this will give me a dialog box asking me for what size that I actually want and I'm going to change the height of this to about 700 and I can change the origin by just clicking here on four corners or in the center I'll change it to the center and then just click OK so there you can see it's opened up my picture if you take a look down the bottom here you can see that there are lots of different shades of black and grey and there will also be different shades of white in there what I'm going to do is basically trace this vector so I'm going to select the bitmap to vector tool and I'm going to click reduce colours now if I just bring this slider bar down you can see the colours are starting to wash out in the colour palette down the bottom and what this is doing it's blending all of the colours into a black colour so if I start bringing that right down I can bring it down to two colours and OK that and I know for definite that this is just a black and white image so I'm going to choose the black colour that I want to trace around and create the vectors now if I zoom in here you can see I've got a really pixelated image there if I just knock the transparency down you can see that the vectors are not following the jagged edges on that it's giving me quite smooth vectors and these vectors are ready to be machined I don't need to edit those and what I'm going to do is to just turn that on which previews the relief and it will take away the bitmap that I've imported so what I'm going to do now is to import a bit of clip art now in ArtCam Express you can't actually create any 3D work but you can import 3D reliefs using the relief clip art library so if I open that up here you can see all of the reliefs available within the clip art library there are over 500 already installed in ArtCam Express and these are available in all the versions of ArtCam so we have parts like animals, uh, architectural, sign bases, crests lots and lots of different pieces for you to use within your designs so what I'm going to do is to select a sign base and I'll select this sign base 13 just click on that and it gives me a preview here now I can change the size of that if I wish by moving one of the handlers like so or I could actually enter a specific size so I'm going to enter 600 and apply that and then I'm going to click here to center that within my sheet and I'm going to paste that down now I could change the height here um, but I've already pasted this down so what I can do is if I close the clip art library go to the 3D view here you can see my three dimensional piece that I've just imported if you take a look down here uh, where I've got three coordinates you'll see the Z value and if I hover over the top of the sign base you can see that it's 19.985 the height of that at the moment so I'm going to click here to scale relief and I'm going to change the height of this to 25 millimeters click apply 
and then if I hover over that again you can see the Z height is 25 millimeters perfectly so go back to the 2D view and what I'm going to do is just create a vertical line so I'll just draw a line there I can press control and it will give me an angle snap and just draw that to there I'm going to center that so I know that that's in the center of the piece and I'm just going to select everything and then shift select the parts that I don't actually want to modify so I just want to modify the vine here so I'm going to click transform vectors and I'm going to make this a lot smaller so let's try there zoom in and we're just going to rotate this round a touch say like so and I'm going to move this to the left of my line let's say there so that looks fine to me what I'm going to do is just zoom in on it and I'm going to show you how, how to edit a existing vector so here you can see this vector is all one part what I want to do is get rid of this leaf here I don't really want that so what I'm going to do is go into node editing so if I click here just zoom in and I'm going to press C on the keyboard for cut so that's cut there and I'm going to cut there now what I can do is delete that outside and I'm going to join this up by using a curve like so so there you can see that that's joined up my vector and what I'm going to do now is just move that up a little bit like so I'm going to group it so it's all one part and I'm going to shift select the vertical line and mirror this across that line so I'm going to mirror that about the line so there you can see that that's mirrored the part so there you can see our artwork finished what I'm going to do now is to create some text so if I click here for text and I'm going to click here and create the text coffee shop and I'll center that in the sheet and just move that down to the bottom somewhere create some more text now if you want to change the font just click this drop down menu and all of the fonts that are installed on your Windows machine are automatically found by ArtCam so there you can see I've got lots and lots of fonts available to me there change the size here let's say 200 and we're going to type in Cocos and I'll center this also and I'm going to move this down to around about there I can move the coffee shop up just just get this in the right place like so and we're almost ready to start machining then so if I just zoom in here what I want to do is create a little effect around the edge of this piece so what I'm going to do is just offset inwards and I'm going to do a little bit of a v-bit carving around that line so I'll show you how to do it around a single line so I'm going to click offset and first of all so I'm going to select the measure tool and I'm going to just do this quite rough here you can see the distance is more or less 22 millimeters so I'm going to offset by 11 millimeters offset this line inwards so there you can see I've got that line for my machining so if we go to the 3D view turn the vectors on by clicking here there you can see my sign is ready to be machined so if I click on toolpaths here and the first thing that I'm going to do is to create a machine relief just to rough out and finish the actual sign base 
Now I'm not going to do this over the whole relief because that would machine all of the waste area. I don't really want to do that as it would be a little bit of a waste of time. So I'm going to do it using the boundary by selected vectors. And I'm going to select some finishing options. I'm going to choose a 6mm ball nose cutter. I can change the angle of that if I wished. I'm going to choose to rough it out a 12mm end mill. And I'm going to change the step down on this. And I'm going to set up my material. The material Z0, move that to the top. There you can see that that's set up the material. And I'm going to calculate the toolpath. So that's calculated the toolpath. If I wish to turn this toolpath off, just click on the light bulb, it turns them on or off. If I wish to see a specific toolpath, if I zoom in and turn off, let's say for instance the finishing toolpath, it would just leave me with the roughing toolpath. So I can just quickly have a glance at that, see if there's any bits that are gouging. But we also have a simulation, which I'm going to show you later on. So I'll just turn off the toolpaths. And what I'm going to do now is an area clearance on this text here. So if you click on area clearance, now the start depth, it has to be the top of this pocket. So it's 12.5. So 12.5 start depth. Let's do it, let's say 2.5 millimeters deep. Add a tool. Need quite a small tool for this to get actually to actually get in there. And I'm going to click calculate now. Turn off the tool paths. And I'm going to do some V-bit carving for the artwork and the coffee shop text. So select all of that. And the start depth again is going to be 12.5. And if I click here, and I'm going to select my carving tool. If I click here, it will show me the maximum depth that that will go to. I can choose a roughing tool if I wish to rough all of the carving out first of all. And click calculate now. I'm now going to run the V-bit around the center of the border of the sign base and I'm not going to use VBIT carving toolpath to do this I'm going to use a profile toolpath. What I'm going to do is not use the default which is the outside I'm going to use along the line so this is going to machine along that line and the finished depth I'm just going to do this one millimeter deep choose my VBIT and going to click calculate now. going to do a profile again just to cut the part out and choose a 6mm end mill. I can add a lead in if I wished, let's say 50mm. I click calculate now so you can see the lead in and then it's cutting the part out. Now simulate all of these tool paths one at a time so you can see. So that's the machine relief there we have the area clearance V-bit carving have the form on the border of the base so there you can see the V-bit just running around there and then finally the cutout so there you can see the piece cut out now if I wish to change the colour of this just click on the simulation, change the colour to whatever material I like. Let's say medium oak, like so. And I can export this as a three dimensional PDF, as you saw earlier. So let's just call that number one. Save that onto my desktop.
and here we can see the three dimensional PDF that has been exported so you can send this to one of your customers for approval beforehand before you machine this and they don't need to have ArtCam installed on their machine this can be opened up with Adobe Acrobat so switch back to ArtCam and I'll quickly show you how to export the toolpaths for your machine so if you click on toolpaths and then save toolpaths if I have a tool changer I can move all of the tools onto the right hand side here select my post from the list and then save the G code to be sent to the machine if I don't have a tool changer select the one that I want select my post ArtCamp has over 200 posts available within the software even within ArtCamp Express so let's say for instance I wanted to choose a Heidenhain post I could save that and then that would be ready to be sent to my machine